When you do volunteer work on behalf of a charity, are you able to get a charitable donation for the value of the services you provide? My name is Merrill Taylor with Tax Tutor. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Let's talk a little bit about what it what kind of goes into donating your services. So you maybe have a customer or a client or you want to do work on behalf of a charity. You want to help them in some sort of way. So you go and you volunteer your time. Or let's say that you own a building and you let a charity rent out your building or use your building or use your space. Uh, in one way or another, you're providing some sort of a service or some sort of a product or good or something for a charity. How does the charitable donation work with that? Well, first off, we have to look at how the IRS values time. So let's say that you go down and you do some work on behalf of a charity and you spend your, you spend say four hours working for that charity. Do you get to take a valuation of your time and then do a charitable write-off for that? Well, unfortunately the answer is no, because there's really no good way to value your time in that sort of a context. Certainly you have a value that's placed on your time, but if you were to go and spend four hours at work for a charity, would you say that your time is now worth $1,000 an hour and you get a $4,000 write-off for doing that? Unfortunately, it, it doesn't work that way. Even if you value your time at $10 an hour um, you know, and took a $40 write-off, is, is that acceptable? Is that right? Uh, unfortunately, again, that, that's not the way that it works. The IRS has no way of valuing time, and so when you go and do volunteer work on behalf of a charity, you cannot get a write-off for the time that you spent doing it. Same thing if you provide space. If you own a building and you have a charity rent out that space, there is no real, you, you could certainly value that space and say, okay, my rent would have been worth X, um, so I should get a charitable donation for that. Uh, you know, unfortunately, again, it just doesn't work that way. The IRS does not allow that. Is what you do get a write-off for is any out-of-pocket expenses that you have that's associated with that. So if you go and volunteer for, on behalf of a charity, you can get a write-off of the mileage it takes you to get there. If you end up needing to buy food, you can write off the food as a charitable contribution as part of that. Uh, and any other kind of out-of-pocket expenses you have that's associated with that time and with helping out with that charity. If you uh, rent out a, a part of your building to a charity and they use the utilities and you don't charge them for the utilities, you can write off the utilities and things that, that are used as part of that. Uh, but there really wouldn't be any other sort of write-off just because you really can't value time and, and things of that nature. Uh, and then I have down here a note about advertising and marketing. Um, when you do a charitable contribution on behalf of your business and you write off out-of-pocket expenses or things, or let's say you, you do a cash contribution, you have a charity that comes to you and says, hey, we're looking for donations, we're looking for help for our cause, and you give them cash for that, you can write it off as a charitable contribution, however, in a business setting, if you have an LLC that's taxed as a partnership or a Schedule C or as an S corporation, uh, those charitable contributions actually end up on Schedule A of your personal tax return. And so if you're not able to itemize deductions or there's some kind of limitation on your itemized deductions or something gets in the way of that, then you actually get no benefit for that charitable contribution that comes out of your business. If instead, you make a cash contribution to a charity and that charity then puts your name on their t-shirt or gives you a booth or mentions you on the, their program or puts you on their website or in some way uh, advertises or markets your business. Well then instead of that being a charitable contribution, it's actually more of an advertising or marketing expense, which is a business deduction and will benefit you um, even if you can't itemize. The benefit of that is let's say that you have like a Schedule C, right? So you, you file your tax returns as a Schedule C taxpayer and you make a cash donation to a charity that you consider to be a charitable contribution. Well, when you get to your personal tax return, that goes on Schedule A as an itemized deduction and does not bring down your business income, which also does not bring down the amount of uh, income that you have for self-employment tax. So it goes, you, you might be able to get a deduction on your personal tax return that would save you income taxes, but it doesn't help save in employment taxes. If instead you call it an advertising or marketing expense and turn it into a business deduction on your Schedule C, it will give you a benefit. If you don't itemize, it will give you a benefit on the Schedule C that will help to offset your 
uh, business income, but will, it will also reduce the income that's subject to employment taxes. So by simply shifting that charitable contribution to an advertising and marketing expense, it saves on both income tax as well as employment taxes. Again, you have to make sure that it does have a true advertising or marketing um, aspects to it that you're being marketed in some sort of way on a website, a t-shirt, a booth at the event, or uh, something along those lines. Um, and then if, if it's just a true charitable donation to a charity and you're not recognized in any sort of way, then, then you, you would have to put that as an itemized deduction, but uh, just kind of um, looking at the difference between those. So as we look at this, when you are donating your time, again, there's no way to value that. So you just can write off your out-of-pocket expenses that go with that. If you do make charitable contributions in cash, maybe look at having those be advertising or marketing. Uh, again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below.